The Bureau of Land Management is responsible for controlling the wild horse population in the western United States. The BLM protects and manages wild horses and burros under the authority of the Wild Free Roaming Horses and Burros Act of 1971 to ensure that healthy herds thrive on healthy rangelands. For the past seven years, the BLM has failed to do their jobs as overpopulation has reached catastrophic levels. Case in point, in February, the BLM coordinated a horse gather on the Fish Creek Herd Management Area in Eureka, Nevada. The appropriate management level, or AML for this area, is 170 horses. 424 horses were gathered, and an estimated 180 horses were left on that range. With plans to release 186 of the gathered horses, the overall total exceeds two times the appropriate management level. The horses have controlled land where cattle and other wildlife thrive. The land is now barren. There is no food for the cattle, wildlife, or the horses. The mismanagement from the BLM is not only hurting the horses, but also taking the cattlemen's land, hunting grounds, and most importantly, their livelihood. You'll be able to watch the horses run off that way. Rancher Kevin Borba filed an appeal with the Interior Board of Land Appeals to oppose the return of the horses to the range. Ranchers hold permits to raise cattle and other livestock on BLM land. Some Kevin Borba holds a permit here. for 506 Flat cows on, on the Fish Creek HMA. The BLM has cut his herd down to 105. On April 7th, the Sheriff's Department and Brand Department arrived on Kevin's permitted land in anticipation of the release of the horses. What's the deal on the horses? Kevin is informed that 185 horses will be released onto his permitted property within the next hour. The holding facilities are full, and the BLM made the decision to release horses to a range without food or water. It's not my decision, that's what he just said, but the judge said they could, so they are. They're gonna dump them all back. But it could be 60 days, it could be two years of fighting the battle, and it's probably not gonna happen. The horses ain't ever gonna happen. Our range is done. I mean, we're just, we're done, you know. I don't even know what to say about it, but. Mm. And that's it, you know. They gathered 424 head of horses, 30 some from the neighbor, uh, 35 exactly from right over the hill here. The rest came off here. And the helicopter guy, uh, Mr. Courteur, that did the gather, he's very good. And he said, Kevin, you have just as many that we gathered still out there. They're still there. We got no choice, sell the cattle. There's nowhere to go. And that's what we're afraid. I'm sure that's what's gonna happen. And they know that. And it's just, and. And it seems like that, you know, a lot of the different ranchers uh, act like they got a lot of bite, but they're so afraid of them, they're scared to mention a word, you know, uh, because they're afraid that they're gonna be targeted next. If I could save one rancher that's been here forever, my hat's off to them, I'll walk away and, and maybe our fight will, will bring it to the public's eye so the government starts helping us instead of going against us. The BLM's mandate to cut down the herd size for all livestock doesn't fix the problem. The ranchers play a pivotal role in maintaining the land and keeping an ecological balance. They own the water rights. They pump the water for all the animals. They move their animals off the range so it can recover and replenish. The horses have no boundaries and will eat until there's nothing left on the range. But a person should have to be in that position. They should, they're supposed to work with us, but they work against us. The story doesn't end when the horses are released or left on the range. The story ends with the horses dying of thirst or from lack of food because they are left on ranges and have no chance of supporting their numbers. It breaks my heart. I mean, it's, this is, 
this is for my kids and their kids. And this is all we could give them. And we work hard after it. We don't, we don't ask for nothing from nobody. We just try and work hard and do our thing. And we're not the only one. There's several ranches like me. And there's ranches that have been here for generations and they've lost. It's all gone. And, and we're going to be one of them people too. And uh, it's just, it's heartbreaking. You know. How can you help? Donate to help us protect the rights of the ranchers and farmers fighting these issues. Write to your U.S. representative, www.house.gov forward slash representatives forward slash find forward slash. Are you experiencing this as well? If so, reach out to us. Go to protecttheharvest.com. Email us at info at protecttheharvest.com. Call us at 844-360-8300. For more videos on this topic and others, go to protecttheharvest.com.